Hello Aries. How is everybody doing? Thank you for watching the Stella K video. Um, this is going to be your general mid-November uh, love reading. And just remember that this isn't going to resonate with everyone, so don't make it your story if it's not your story. Also, um, time is fluid, so remember, even if you see this after November, that's when Universe wants you to see it. Universe doesn't make mistakes. You know, time is fluid. And this is for any Aries, uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Also, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. I would really appreciate it. Give it a thumbs up. Uh, I'm still a little newer on YouTube, and I'd really love to get my numbers up there. I've been enjoying this so much, and uh, I'm getting better by the day. I've been a reader for 20 years, and this is my first time tapping into like a whole general collective. So it's really exciting, the, the feelings that I get. I feel like you guys are actually going to have like a lot of psychic energy for like the next month and a half for some reason or till the end of the year. So definitely follow your intuition in any type of situation you're in. Pay attention to signs you get. Definitely maybe even keep like a dream journal. Um, I feel like you guys' psychic ability is going to be at its height for some reason. Like, that's what my spirit's telling me right now. All right, let's get going and lay down your base. And remember to stay till the end because we do clarifications and a lot of meetings can change by the end of the cl clarification, you know? So just remember to stay till the end, okay? And thumbs up, don't forget. It's easy and it helps me. So love you guys. All right, your, oh, sorry, your overall energy is the Empress. You guys are in the zone. Oh my God, this is Venus energy. You are definitely feeling feminine. Um, even if you're a man, you can feel feminine. Remember, feminine and masculine energy are within every single person. And being feminine just means, like, you're going to be nurturing. You are going to feel abundant. You're going to see things in nature that you haven't seen before, and you're going to be in that kind of psychic um, intuition feeling zone. Like, you're really going to feel intuitive this month, okay? All right, your past and recent, uh, recent energy, the world, okay? Like, cycles are coming to an end. And I feel like the cycle that's coming to an end is kind of like blindness by you or your person, okay? And your present energy, King of Cups, you are definitely feeling loving. Could be a Cancer Scorpio or a Pisces you're dealing with. But definitely, there is a lot of stable love coming from the King of Cups. All right, I just dropped your next card. Hold on, let me grab it. Definitely feeling very in that that stable love kind of energy. Like, follow that intuition and that intuition that you have right now and those abilities that are going to be really heightened because the end of the year is coming. And for Aries, this is going to be a really important year coming up in 2021. Um, definitely pay attention to that. And it will lead you to, you know, your King of Cups or, you know, having your King of Cups. All right, what your spirit guides want you to know is the Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy wants you to know, you know, it's clarity time. It is time to clear out any, like, cabinets, even if it's, like, just cleaning out your house, getting rid of the clutter in your house and your life, I feel like. I feel like any clutter needs to go. It's just time to get real and let, you know, the universe take over and really pay attention to that intuition when it comes to people around you. All right, blockages is the emperor. All right, we have a true match right now, but right now your emperor is blocking you. And this is your sign right now. You're blocking you. So what I need you to do is, you know, like I said, start paying attention to your intuition. Do not ever ignore a gut feeling and really start cleaning out the closet emotionally and physically in your house. Okay, solution. Five of Wands. You may have to have a little bit of discomfort with a person or a fight or an argument, but it's going to be your solution. All right, your outcome is the Six of Swords. You want to go towards cooler water, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy again. Like definitely what you're looking for for the end of this month and even till the end of the year like I'm feeling is a lot of clarity and a lot of clearing out of any issues in your life. You definitely want to go towards cooler waters. Like that's going to be your outcome because you're going to tap into this psychic intuitive, intuitive um, part of yourself that you didn't realize kind of existed within you. 
it's going to be a very spiritual time for you, especially with you and your partner. Okay. All right. Let's get to clarifying now and let's see what this is all about. If it's about love or if it's just all about you, if it's about family, that's where we get to the clarification. And that's, that's how I read. Uh, all readers read different. So, and every deck has a different meaning. All right. Overall energy, Empress energy, you're in the zone, you're in, you know, Venus mode. You're feeling feminine, nurturing, abundant. Let's see what's up. All right, Six of Cups, past nostalgia definitely coming up. Three of Pentacles, that could be Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, wanting to work on something. Empress on top of the Empress. What did I say? This is your overall energy. When I look at this combination, you definitely could have a past person on your mind or past situations on your mind that maybe you didn't have so much clarity in, but you are going to work on it and become this empress. This is going to be your mode. Whether you're male or female, you can be that empress and be, you know, nurturing and abundant. And I feel like you're really feeling that for the end of this month and really even into December. All right, past energy cycles were ending major arcana. We don't need to we don't need to clarify that. We already know this cycle is ending by your your overall energy you're going to go into a completely different mode and feel things that you have never felt before in your life you're going to start paying attention to the universe more and into your intuition more and you're going to be feeling yourself a lot more okay your current feelings is the king of cups all right that could be cancer scorpio pisces energy and that's a that's like my steady um, king, a, a lot of love, a lot of feeling. Let's see what's going on here. All right, the king of wands, definitely king on top of king, king, queen of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, and then the six of rods. This is victory. You really want victory over love, and you definitely want it to be a vibrant sexual relationship, but there's one thing that needs to be cut out of this, and you know what needs to be cut out. There's something that you're not having clarity on for some reason that, um, your person, I feel like, really confuses you on. I feel like this isn't a horrible relationship. I feel like there's just this person confuses you. I'm not, that's kind of what I'm feeling right now, now that we're getting into the clarification. There's definitely something with this Queen of Swords that is like, okay, it's time for you to really tap into that intuitive side of yourself and stop blindfolding yourself and figure it out. Like, what is it about this person that I'm not understanding that I kind of have been turning the other cheek to, but it's time for me to um, speak up about it so I have clarity. This is what your spirit guides want you to know, is clarity. All right, let's see what uh, what your spirit guides want you to have clarity on. All right, the moon, go into your subconscious. Start feeling your psychic energy. That's major arcana. All right, temperance, major arcana. You want balance in this relationship. And remember, energies are interchangeable. So I, I am always going to say you because it's your reading, but this could also be your person's energy. There is a lot of balance needed in this um, relationship. I feel like when you look at this person, you kind of sometimes are like, hmm, and you are ignoring that psychic and subconscious ability, and you're putting it into your subconscious instead of doing something about it and balancing it out, and th that really needs to happen. And Six of Swords, number two, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, because you want cooler waters. You don't want someone that's late all the time. You don't want someone that's giving you problems. You don't want somebody that is constantly switching stories around like i feel like that is what is actually happening in your life right now and that's why it's like time to clean out the cupboards emotionally and physically like do spring cleaning now emotionally and physically all right your blockage is the emperor the emperor should never be a blockage like you should always be able to take in the emperor i mean this is your energy this is being wise this is you know having wisdom this is, you know, my know-it-all of the deck and the highest, he's, he's above kings, you know, and it's a blockage for you right now because you, what you deserve is not what you have right now because you don't have the clarity. You love this person so much that you have shoved things that you probably wouldn't have shoved away in other relationships. So let's see what's going on. 
All right, the three of wands. All right, you're waiting for your ships to come in. All right, clarity number two, ace of swords. You're not clear on this person. This person confuses you or you confuse your person. Then we have uh, Capricorn energy, the devil. So it could just be a Capricorn you're dealing with or this person could have like hidden addictions, hidden problems, um, a lot of issues that you don't know about. The, the devil can kind of go, it can have so many meanings when it comes to a person having issues, addictions, um, being a player. I mean, it can have so many meanings, having a lot of secrets too. So just watch out for that. But that is what you're going to do with the rest of this year is you are going to clean out the cupboards and you are finally going to get the clarity you want. Like, let's say, like, somebody's never on time. Somebody's stories completely change all the time. Somebody is always, like, says one thing one day, and the next day it's a completely different story, or there's always excuses. You are finally going to stop smiling through it. I feel like you've been smiling through it, and you've had enough. All right. Your solution is the Five of Wands. You kind of just got to go to battle with this person and be like, listen, it's time to sit down and have a talk. Like, I need to know what's going on. This is your energy, so. All right, High Priestess Secrets. You want to know what these secrets are this person has, okay? While you're using your intuition. That's Major Arcana. I feel like this goes with you and your partner. Uh, one of you has secrets and the other one freaking knows it. Like, that's what's going on. Eight of Wands, that's all about messages, communication. Okay, you are going to communicate this finally because I don't feel like you've communicated this and called them out on their bullshit or them you. No offense if this is you. Okay, and then the King of Pentacles, or Knight of Pentacles, sorry. When we're talking about the Knight of Pentacles, I mean, this is really being um, diligent and at the same time being very sensible and stable about it and also, you know, being kind of young and flamboyant through it and having fun with it. So you don't want to make it such a serious fight where it could break you up, but you need that clarity. All right, Spirit has put down two of the biggest clarity cards. You need clarity about your person right now and they're not giving it to you because they are like all over the place. And you've just kind of smiled through it, but it's time to sit down and have that talk. So at your outcome, the Six of Swords, you can go towards cooler waters and have an easier relationship. I feel like for them, it's been an easy relationship and they will always make that excuse, but they don't understand that for you, everything's been really confusing because they're all over the place and a little bit crazy. All right, Three of Cups. I'm not feeling a third party situation. I'm feeling like after you guys sort this out and you finally learn this person's secrets or if they are with another person or if they still have like problems or feelings with another ex that you're going to get through it and have a celebration because you're finally going to like peel that banana down. You know what I mean? And I don't mean sexually. All right, Six of Pentacles, definitely generous. And then the Hangman. It may be a little stagnant for a while after you guys have this fight, but you will definitely come back together in love. Okay, you will come back together in love. But it is driving you crazy. I feel like, um, especially for my Aries out there, they're a little bit OCD. You definitely want this clarity out of this person because they always have these excuses. And you're just like, I can't deal with it anymore. So like I said, it's time for clarity. It's time for cleaning out your house. It's time to go into that psychic ability. It's time to use your intuition. And it's definitely time to confront this person on the contradictions that always seem to pop up every day. It's something. It's drama. And you want cooler waters, okay? But you got to talk to your person about it. All right, honeymoon, enjoy the uh, time of holiday bliss. You know, uh, Thanksgiving's coming up in the United States. So, you know, you could be wanting to enjoy time with them. And when you get through this and you finally voice that, you can actually enjoy it instead of that little voice that you know you're hearing in the back of your head. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking steps that you're guided to take. And right now you're being guided just by watching this video. All right, you need that clarity. You need to know the truth finally about this person. All right, true love. This is a romance of a lifetime. I don't feel like this person um, deliberately makes excuses or um, isn't telling you anything, everything because they don't love you. 
I feel like they're embarrassed about a lot of things in their life and they're not telling you everything. And that's where your intuition needs to kick in. But they will never admit the things that they need to to you. It's going to be you needing to come forward and be like, listen, babe, if we're going to fix this, I, I feel it in my gut. And that gut feeling is never going to go away. And right now, I want to clear out my life. I want things to be good. I want 2021 to be amazing with us. So let's really sit down and communicate so we can go towards these cooler waters right here. And I can have clarity. And you have two of all these. So, well, not, not the message one, but you have two going towards cooler waters and two... Uh, ace of swords you definitely need that in your life thank you for watching a stella k video um don't forget to subscribe like give me a thumbs up please and leave a comment if you'd like a free reading if you'd like a private reading all the information's down below you know i'm still newer so i'm kind of begging for it i love you guys have a happy easter and or easter thanksgiving and i will see you soon